you, you guys aren't, aren't proper walkers. People uh, saying very hateful comments, telling us to hike to Mecca, associating us with immigrants and refugees, making uh, you know connotations about backpacks and bombs, etc. People just making really awful, horrible comments. We kept it a secret from uh, our participants and it was brilliant like you could see the look in their eyes and how overwhelmed they were at seeing prayer signs in the countryside like it does make them feel homely we have received quite a bit of criticism people are questioning why we're putting you know signs to mecca in the countryside people are suggesting we're spoiling the countryside We just don't have the outdoors embedded within our cultural and lifestyle norms. And that very much accounts for the lack of confidence, the lack of awareness, and sometimes the lack of self-belief for venturing out into these spaces. That's what we're trying to tackle very much head on. But if there's people within our communities that already feel less empowered to get outside, lacking confidence than if there is the existence of racism and Islamophobia, then this can very much hinder or prevent people that feel less empowered to get outside comfortably and confidently. Some of the shocking and disgusting abuse we have received online since yesterday. People have an issue with Muslims whether we were Muslims and running or Muslims and cycling or just Muslims getting out together and having fun, they'll always have an issue. Uh, Islamophobia can't be denied. It exists in community, it exists in politics, it exists in the media, it exists everywhere and it needs to be called out.